Mm -mm. I was just about to put my dick. Mm -mm. Well, um, this is just a little bit of an announcement. I'm going to be going through some intensive physical training, and um, eventually I'm going to have huge, ridiculous muscles, and I'm going to have a drop. Hopefully, I'm going to drop a lot of weight, and then I'm going to start production on a. I hopefully, you know, it's good. I mean, I got my own kind of comic book character, but I'm trying to steal from that that guy. What's his name? Glenn McDuffie, and try to create the static shock, you know, for real live action version. Cause I know there's no there's no plans to create a st live action static shock anything, but I enjoyed the show quite a bit. I wish that they melded the two characters together, Static and his buddy, so that Static was actually a super genius, and on top of that. But I guess they didn't want to steal from Spider-Man too much. But still, I like that. I like the whole, oh, you know, even without his powers, he can be a threat to the enemy. The static as he was, he was basically just Spider-Man light the whole time. And that was kind of lame to me. What was so fucking great about this guy, you know? What? You know, it would have been more impressive if he was, like, knowledgeable about something. You know, he's just an average black kid, somehow gets superpowers. And that's about it. His character is just that that deep. It's just lame. I wanted it to be like he was a nerd. He got he has all these inventions, and maybe his invention is something of a uh, you know it's something of a catalyst for the whole static shock thing to create. Because you know as it is, he just gets into some sort of Ninja Turtle accident and suddenly has superpowers. You know, if I was doing it my way. I would make it so that, yeah, he was doing, working on an experiment that would harness lightning, electricity, and then throughout the process, it gets struck, and he gets turned into static shock, you know, but they wanted it to be like, oh, you know, he's just fucking around, and then suddenly he breathes in some purple goop, and nah, that's no good, and his supervillains would be, you know, Possibly a result of his own experimentations. I don't know. But it's just so lame that everybody gets superpowers, you know, from that purple stuff. So everybody becomes essentially part a lot like static, and it's kind of lame to me. So I don't know. The static, the live action static they got online right now is a piece of shit. A nigga just too much of a nigga. He needs to be like a little bit lighter, man. It's just. You can't just throw any black nigga into the Static Shock uniform and call it a day. You gotta look like the fucking, you know. There's like, there's like, there's like, there's, there's, there's nigga and then there's 100% nigga and then there's 200% nigga. You know what I mean? That nigga was 200% nigga. You, you can't do that. Static's not, Static's not 100%, too, he's like at least 50% nigga or 60% nigga, you know? So you gotta look at it that way and put that type of thing in there. So I got the glasses. I'm going to try to get some gloves and stuff. And then we're going to make a static shock sort of thing. Hopefully it works out. Because, you know, I, I, would, I always have this dream in my head that, you know, static's muscled up. You know, he's not some little scrawny dude. And, like, when somebody shoots him and his clothes rip, you see the rippling muscles underneath. Because I got muscles. And I, I'm, I'm working on getting my big... I had bigger muscles but when I was training for the Air Force, but I can get even bigger than that now that now that, now that I can concentrate more and stop jerking off every day. I can concentrate and just work on the muscles and the more you train your body the more your fucking body is gonna get big, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go drink some muscle milk right now and then I'm just gonna wait for it to percolate in my system and turn me into a freaking Hulk kinda nigga, you know what I mean? Yep.